Hi there, it's Mrs. Hosick. Today we are going to be drawing this pirate ship. All right, let's get started. We will be using a pencil and eraser quite a bit in this one. All right, the first thing we're going to do is determine where the base of our ship is. So we're gonna have water down here. So what I'd like you to do is draw kind of a cup shape like this. like that and this side I want you to go to a point like so then we're going to notice this is kind of across the same distance there we're going to come up and we're going to make a shape behind here like so and then we're also going to come across just a little bit there now right in here we come across here just below that we're going to do the middle section just a line you can kind of go along like that if you want to because that kind of determines where you are all right we're going to come down here meet up with the line there come across we're going to come up not as far as this side and come across and meet the end and we can put a little point on the end for the front of the ship. All right, there's your basic shape. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add another beam part through here. So I'm going to, you can either go up this way or you can go down this way. I think this one I'm gonna go up because I've made it a little bit smaller than my other one. So I'm going to add a second layer like this all the way around. And this one you're going to taper off to the end. All right. Now, before we do any more here, I'd like to be able to put some waves in here. And this is why I did this in pencil. I'm going to put some waves going back like this. Okay. Now I could do this whole section in marker, which I will do. All right, I've marked that up. Notice I erased this line here, lines erased there. Before I go on, I'm going to put my four portholes. I'm going to fill those in. One, two, I'm going to put two in the front. You can put some in the middle all the way, how many ever you want. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we have to go back to pencil because we have to make all our different holes for all the flags so we have the main mast which goes up through here all right so we're going to draw in pencil all the way up this will probably be my thickest one not that thick even and come up, and then at the top come to a little point that's where the flag is going to be and where you kind of did that you can actually go through, I mean, you can do this in marker right off the bat. Go through and you're going to make the crow's nest. All right, so it's a little thing like that. Another one down below. And then you can add some bars on it like this. The crow's nest. All right, so there's our first beam. Our second beam is going to come up through this section here. It can be a little lower and again it can kind of come to a point our third beam is back part of this one it can be about maybe a little lower than the one you just did it's really important you do these in pencil first because a lot of this gets erased and then another one is going to be here this is going to be our shortest one like so okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my first big um, sail right in here, okay? So wherever this is determines what size the other ones are. So I'm going to put a big crossbar across here. Make sure you don't cross over the other uh, poles. And I'm going to put an arc like so on both sides. 
And that's my biggest sail, and I'm going to attach at the bottom, like that. My second one is going to be a little bit smaller than this one, so I can do, don't do quite as wide. There's my top. I'm going to be a backward C, and we're going to attach this one at the bottom. There are two sails. My third sail is going to be here somewhere. You could make it up or down, it doesn't really matter. Okay, I'm going to do here, and then if you notice what happens, this is going to come behind this one, behind this one. Okay, so I've got one behind. This one's somewhere in here, whether it's up here or down here. I think on this one I'm going to put it up here. Put my bar across. And I'm actually going to do this one first before I do the other part of this one. So I'm going to do bar across. And I want to do my sail here. And now this one behind is going to come probably... I'm going to do this post first, actually, because it is behind it. Behind here, you can see it kind of go under there and the bit of the arc there. So my circle, let me just do that in pencil for you, you can see. So my sail was here. See that? But you don't see those parts. All right. Once we've done that, now we can do our um, posts. So I'm going to put this one in little spot there, in behind here, back through the sail. And I'm not going to go any farther right now. I'm going to go ahead and do these ones. And I did that one. Right here, you can have this part or not. I've got a little cabin in mine. So if you're doing a little cabin, you want to do that first. And I'll put a couple of portholes there. Okay, and now I can do this one and that's totally up to you whether you want to put that in or not my other one also has a railing first and it also has a cabin back here with a porthole but you don't have to do that if you don't want to and then I can continue my post down all right the next thing you want to do is um, your flags I'll show you a couple of different ways you can just kind of do it you know, a little wavy like that. Or you could go wave, another wave to match, and this is going to come together and make it like it's flying. All right. So let's try that again. Let me put that down there. That's the way I should have done it. You can do whatever you want. And I'm going to do a nice big one here. Waving in the wind. You can color those whatever you want. Skull and crossbones, up to you. Then you need to put your lines across for your wooden boat. This is a pirate ship. And we're going to put our lines across. See how I'm matching all the way through. And through my waves. Now I could have some big waves in front. Making quite the waves there. Maybe more of these. And then you can kind of swirl your water around. <clears throat> like so. All right. I'm going to erase my lines now. All right. One thing we also have to do is we have to attach our sails with some rope. So maybe a rope is attaching there. Should be attaching there. Some, somewhere where they attach. Maybe I'll do a line there. Otherwise, they aren't really doing anything, right? Let's put some up through here. And you can also add some railings afterwards if you want. Put a railing across here. This goes in front, right? So you can do it afterwards. Like that. And let's put one up here as well. And you also could have done it like this, where you actually drew it out so that you could color it afterwards. All right, let's take a look at our colored picture. 
So here's the colored one I did. I chose to do kind of a reddish brown and notice what I did. I did a little darker underneath these lines and then a little lighter. I also took a darker brown and went underneath that part there to make it look shaded. A little darker there and lighter. This is what I was talking about doing the railing. This one you can actually see the railing. I actually went over those, but if you want to do the same thing, you could. On my um, sails, you can see how I kind of did light, and light on the bottom and the top and left the middle white. Looks like it's kind of shining. I used several different colors in my, my water, different blues. All right, so have fun with this. Um, love to see them on Messenger or Remind. Have a good day. Bye.